Um, well, you already know how I feel about this shit. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same gameplay-wise, so, yeah, we already know how this is going to turn out. I've noticed that, uh, they aged a Atre uh, Atreus, but he, he, see he seems to be the same whiny little shit that he was in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> And then Kratos, Kratos sounds like bored in every fucking scene that he's in. It's like, yeah. <laughs> there's no personality in his voice at all. I just, I, I just don't understand, yo. Like, I've never seen a, a franchise go so off the rails like this. Like, it, it's just, it doesn't even remotely resemble God of War, like, at all. Uh, and, like, the whole Norse mythology uh, theme and setting and everything, it just doesn't fit, yo. <laughs> it doesn't fit this franchise at all. Yeah, you could tell this shit was made for a casual audience. Um, Absolutely. It, it, this, this, it, like, this was not made for a hardcore audience, like, whatsoever. If you go on, like, other gaming channels on YouTube, like... Like, if you go on, uh, fucking Angry Joe or, you know, some, uh, skill up or some bitch, you know, some bitch like that, uh, bitches like that, you, they'll, they'll, they'll tell their audience, like, oh, this shit is great, so they can get some more fucking subscribers. It's like, fuck that shit, I could care less. This shit looks like trash. Yeah, man. Oh, and, uh, Thor, I'm, I'm gonna show you, uh, Thor's design. He looks horrible. He looks fucking terrible. Like, some some people were expecting like a Chris Hemsworth, the uh, you know macho man looking dude. Like nah, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> they they tried the their excuse was uh, for for his design is that uh, yeah we're 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 taking inspiration from the actual uh, original Thor um, from the, the the actual mythology. But it's like. Yeah, but you know, you guys could have done a better job and actually made him look good. Uh, he he looks like trash. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you what he looks like ap after we're done talking about this. But um, oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This shit. This shit looks terrible. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. It look it looks exactly the same. It looks like they haven't really done anything different with the gameplay. I think there was one thing that looked kind of interesting. Um. Right here, with, with, uh, look look at what Atreus does in the in the background. Oh, uh, kind of like a little uh, fawns on natural creatures. Uh, stag. Okay. Yeah, that that kind of looks like um, uh, shit. There, there's a there's a there's a word for it. It's similar to like the the Patronus charm from the Harry Potter series. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Um, like an astral projection type of thing. So, um, yeah, that, that, that kind of looked interesting, but, you know, you're not really going to be controlling Atreus, so, um, it looks like he's just going to be a support character, again, like he was in the, in the last game, but yeah, it, it looks, it looks very boring, looks derivative, doesn't look like God of War at all, so, yep, can't, couldn't care less about this shit, um, what, what are your thoughts, Mike? I'm with you on it. It looks like the same game from um when the first one came out. Really, not that many much improvements at all. Exact same shit, so you pretty much know what to expect. Right. Uh, you, you, they're, they're gonna rave over this one, so. Oh yeah, yeah. But, this, yeah. They they already gave this shit a ten, 10 out of ten across the board. <laughs> yeah. It is, it's it's gonna be unanimous, and I said the same thing about the last game, and I was right. They overpraised and overrated the fuck out of it, and it went on to win Game of the Year that year. I don't know if the if this one's going to be able to pull off the same thing, but it wouldn't surprise me if it did. But yeah. um, yeah, this this shit looks like trash. But uh, yeah, fuck this game. So. <laughs> yeah, this 
this shit is just stupid, man. Um, let, let me pull up uh, Thor for you. Let, let me pull up Thor. Yeah, I, I really want to see. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be prepared to see this, but here we go. Oh, hell no. <laughs> excuse for this shit is that oh it's 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 the actual Thor it's not that Marvel shit <laughs> Man, they're troubling <laughs> it's not that Chris oh, that it's not that Chris Hemsworth shit from the MCU that that <laughs> that version's bullshit this is the real Thor right here yeah yeah <laughs> fuck you guys man I'll take I'll take Chris Hemsworth Thor over this bullshit every, any day the fuck is this shit right here, man? He looks. That's the fucking. That's that's literally um um shit when you know when um he was fucking overweight in the movie. <laughs> that's what they fucking wanted. Cause but they, they still know, um, even they decided to. Even. But even then, it's like they found a way. They found a way to make Chris Hemsworth look, you know, look good as a as a fat you know as a fat dude. <laughs> I mean. They still, they still found, you know, they still managed to make him look like a badass, even, even as, as a, you know, a more plump version of, of the character. You compare that to, to this, I mean, I'm, that shit looks like some beginner fan or I'm telling you. It looks terrible, man. They could have at least given him some fucking clothes and shit, but you gotta see his fucking, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Uh, yeah, you got. He has nipples. You gotta see his fucking grandma titties and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stomach all out. Yeah, like what the? They could have covered his body. They could, yeah, they could have given him some armor or something. Then he would have looked a little bit decent. But his fucking arms look too big and shit. Like <laughs> this shit looks terrible, man. This shit looks fucking terrible. And you have fanboys defending this bullshit. Oh, this is the real Thor right here. This ain't that. This ain't that fucking MCU shit. <laughs> man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. Man, yeah, th this game's gonna be trash. Overrated right garbage. Up, Overrated ass garbage. Fuck out of here, man. God of War is dead. Oh, you're just hating. Goddamn right, I'm fucking hating. Fuck this stupid shit. All right. Well. That was the that was the PlayStation showcase. Overall, what what were your thoughts? Uh, I thought it was good for the most part. Yeah, and, you know, usually we fucking trash on these uh, most of the time, but nah, this I think this was actually good. I mean, there's a lot of games I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, minus a just a small few, but yeah, I thought it was actually pretty good. Yeah, um, I have to say I have to say the same. Like. It's they they did a they did a pretty good job. Um, a lot of the announcements were unexpected, and they had uh, some they had at least one original game with um, Project Eve, you know, uh, from from a development studio that uh, no one really knows. Yeah, that's definitely something that uh, um, that I'll give them credit for. So, um, but yeah, they they did deliver. So, hopefully they continue that streak although i don't expect them to obviously um yeah <laughs> this is one of those once in the blue moon yeah yeah once in a while they'll they'll have a showcase like this and it'll be good but um that's not the norm and no one should expect it to be the norm so but yeah that was the playstation showcase um but yeah they hired they hired her to be a, a writer over there at uh sony santa monica um what was your question I say you said she has like no creative writing credits at all. Not that I know of. No, not that I know of. Uh, she definitely sucking some dick or something. Yeah, <laughs> she she's doing she yeah. she has to be doing something because they um uh, yeah I I, I don't know because I I didn't I didn't know about it until maybe uh 
maybe about a month or two ago because I, I I looked up the information and you know you you can tell one of the reasons that people follow her and shit is because she's a former IGN employee. Um, mm -hmm. and then the you know the other reason is that she's a chick. So you know, uh, scroll back up for a minute, a little bit more, a little bit more. Is her name Elena? Yeah, uh, 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 Alana Pierce. Yeah, I was looking at that title saying Elena hitting on Bruce for 14 minutes. I'm like, Does Bruce got to do something with God of War? I probably motherfucker gave her the job. I don't even know who that is. I know, I, I know <laughs> she she uploaded a video talking about one of her past relationships or whatever and how the dude kept lying to her or whatever. And uh, he ended up wrecking one of her, like, her, her car or something, and she, she broke it off or some, some dumb shit. I, I don't know. I really don't care, but, the, you know, she, she uploads a bunch of random shit. Um, she claims she doesn't, uh, she doesn't review games or whatever, so she just talks about them, I guess. But, yeah. <laughs> That's just funny. Yeah, I'm. I need to find the the actual article where it says um, that she was hired by Sony Santa Monica. Yeah, here it is. Alana Pierce, an an I excuse me, an ex IGN games journalist who recently uh, worked for Rooster Teeth, has joined Sony Santa Monica as a writer. Uh, the Australian scribe has a massive social media following including a YouTube channel with over 500,000 subscribers. And she made a, a Twitter, uh, a tweet on Twitter. Hi, everyone. I am finally uh, allowed to announce my new job as a video game writer at Sony Santa Monica. Who you probably uh, know as the studio who make God of War. I am so, so proud to be a part of this incredible team. <laughs> Yeah, she. Said makes no sense. Yeah, she probably hit up uh, Corey Barlog, or one of the producers over there, because uh, yeah, that's and this this was back in uh, November of 2020. So, uh, I, I just the the whole industry is fucking corrupt, man. The fact that a a, a video game journalist can somehow get a get a fucking uh, job as a creative writer at one of these uh, major development studios. I just, I, I don't know. That shit's crazy. I mean, she has no writing credits on any game at all, and she got this on a major as that. Yeah, that's that's just. I I could see if she if she had like past credits or whatever, but no, it's like a a, a journalist is is different from a creative writer. That's that's we're talking a completely different field. So. I don't know what uh, what she's done that uh, you know makes her qualified to, to to do that job, but you know if if they're just going if they're just going off of her journalism, that's not <laughs> that's not being you know that's not enough for qualification. Yeah. So, um, like I said, she I knows, think yeah, she knows someone good up there. Yeah, she knows someone who knows someone. I think that's that's really what um, what happened. Or as you said, she fucked someone. <laughs> yeah, one of the two. One of the two, maybe both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, again, I don't have anything against this chick. I I could care less, but. You know, this is another reason why, you know, why I say, like, uh, fuck, fuck Sony Santa Monica, fuck these development studios, you know. She probably didn't even pay for these fucking consoles right here. <laughs> yeah. She probably has a Patreon and motherfuckers are giving her mo uh, free money and shit. Absolutely. Yeah, fuck out of here with this trash. Is she making videos talking about how to date people on, on Twitch? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, man. F fuck out of here with this stupid shit. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Fuck out of here with this trash.